going to show you how to make some changes in the guest self-registration page. So after I log into uh, Policy Manager, I'm going to get into Guest. I'm going to go to Configuration. And I'm going to go to my different pages here. We created a web logon and a self-registration page. Highlight your self-registration page and click Edit. And then we're going to click Forms. And I added these in, Voice Carrier, or Visitor Carrier, Visitor Phone, uh, Visitor Name, and I'll show you how you add them in. Um, it's kind of confusing because the old way you could click on enable and disable field just like I'm doing now. But everything would show up in here and you could easily click on it and just enable a field. But what I had to do, like visitor um, carrier and visitor phone, visitor name, they weren't in the list for me to click on them and enable them. So like this is, visitor company is here. But uh, phone and things like that, they just weren't, they just weren't here. So um, what I had to do was I clicked and said insert before or insert after. And then I found the field name. So for example, say you wanted the visitor to, to add in a fax number. So you can see it's grayed out, but I already added in visitor phone down here. But if we wanted to add in Say we want to capture the student's room number. We could put that here, room number. And then here's information. You could probably leave a lot of this default. Or you could change, you know, whatever you want in here. I just wanted to show you how to add something in. So now I'll hit Save Changes. And you'll see room numbers here. If I highlight it, it's enabled. Or I could hit Disable. And if I hit preview form, now it has my room number, my mobile carrier. And I'll show you how I got, um, so when I first added in mobile carrier, this box was empty. So you have to go back in the um, policy manager to set this up a little bit. So this is how you edit your form. So pretty easy, we were making it a little more difficult than uh, it needed it to be. And um, so let me show you what you have to do in Policy Manager. So I went in the Policy Manager, went to Administration, and I went to um, where is it here? Oh, external servers and then I went to messaging setup and I messed with this for a while I was trying to use Gmail I read online that you can use Gmail and I tried using the different ports I tried using the SSL port and the start TLS port but um, I couldn't get it to work with Gmail so I set up my RCN account because I know they're open pretty open so um, I set up my RCN account and I tested it and it works. I can get um, I can get emails sent to me and I can get text sent. So if you want to do um, if you want to do the SMS over SMTP, first go in here and just simply set up your mail server. It's not a real lot to it. And then what I had to do was um, once that was all set up. Then you go into, let me see where it is here. You go into your configuration and you click on this SMS services. And this was missing. I was looking in the documentation and I kept seeing this mobile carriers. And I was thinking that, um, I thought there was like a bug in my code and there was, it wasn't in the version of 6.7.0 that I was running. So I updated the 6.7.0.1 and it still didn't show up. 
until you click on the start here. And if you just, you know, click on manage SMS uh, gateways, it will show up then. The mobile carriers will start to show up. Also, if you click on this manage mobile carrier list, you can see all the different mobile carriers in here. And the ones that are dark uh, or bold are the ones that I added in. So example, if I want to add this in, I'll just click on enable. And now that will show up in the list. Right, so I added in uh, AT&T, I added in Verizon, TrackPhone, T-Mobile, Sprint, and you'll see they will now all show up in the uh, in the drop-down list. So here's my um, SMS over SMTP, and I can send a test right off of here. And there you go, I got a text. So uh, that's all working. So just go in here on your, your start here, you can test trying an SMS message. Um, there's not really anything to really set up in here. You're just telling it, um, you know, SMS over um, SMTP. And um, pretty easy. And then just go back to your mobile carriers and turn on what you need to turn on. And now when I look at my um, now when I look at my pages, and I go to my self-registration page, I highlight it, and I end up launching it. I can now see. See here's the AT&T Enterprise uh, paging that we just added in. Here's the room number that we recently added in. So, pretty easy setup. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.